Air Education and Training Command AETC was established the 1st of July 1993 with the realignment of Air Training Command and Air University. It is one of the US Air Force's 10 major commands and reports to headquarters, United States Air Force. AETC is headquartered at Randolph Air Force Base, Joint Base San Antonio, Texas. AETC is the primary training and professional education command in the Air Force. More than 48,000 active duty and Air Reserve component members and 14,000 civilian personnel make up AETC. The command has responsibility for approximately 1,600 aircraft. AETC's mission is to recruit, train and educate airmen to deliver air power for America. <laughs> air Force Recruiting Service AETC's mission begins with the Air Force Recruiting Service AFRS, an AETC activity also headquartered at Randolph AFB, Texas. AFRS comprises three regional groups and 24 squadrons with more than 1,400 commissioned officer and enlisted recruiters assigned throughout the United States, England, Germany, Japan, Puerto Rico and Guam. Recruiters in more than 1,000 offices worldwide recruit the young men and women needed as both enlisted airmen and commissioned officers to meet the demands of the U.S. Air Force. AFRS recruitment of commissioned officers is limited to four-year college, university graduates via Air Force Officer Training School OTS. Individuals who desire to become commissioned USAF officers and enter the service via the U.S. Air Force Academy and Air Force ROTC are not recruited by AFRS and are instead accessed via recruitment and application activities of USAFA and AFROTC, respectively. Topic: Basic military training and technical training. Second Air Force 2AF, with headquarters at Keesler AFB, Mississippi, is responsible for conducting basic military and technical training for Air Force enlisted members and technical training for non-flying missile launch officers and support officers. The first stop for all regular Air Force, Air National Guard and Air Force Reserve Command enlisted personnel is Basic Military Training BMT, at Lackland AFB, Texas. More than 36,000 new airmen complete this recently lengthened eight-and-a-half-week program each year. After completing BMT, airmen begin technical training in their career field specialties, primarily at five installations, Goodfellow AFB, Lackland AFB, and Shepard AFB in Texas, Keesler AFB, Mississippi, and Vandenberg AFB, California. There are also several cross-service schools such as Defense Language Institute in Monterey, California and the U.S. Army CCBRN School at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri that select USAF enlisted personnel will also attend. A recently established technical training institute at Fort Sam Houston, Texas, also conducts training in several medical career fields. Each base is responsible for a specific portion of formal technical training airmen require to accomplish the Air Force mission. Instructors conduct technical training in specialties such as aircraft maintenance, electronic principles, air transportation, civil engineering, medical services, computer systems, security forces, air traffic control, personnel, intelligence, fire fighting, weather forecasting and space and missile operations. 
commissioned officers not assigned to flight training as prospective pilots, combat systems officers or air battle managers attend technical training courses for similar career fields at the same locations. 2AF also conducts specialized training for military working dogs and dog handlers at Lackland AFB, Texas, for the entire Department of Defense and the Federal Aviation Administration. Additionally, the Inter-American Air Forces Academy at Lackland AFB hosts more than 160 courses in aviation specialties, taught in Spanish, to students from 19 Western Hemisphere countries. Topic. Training in core values In 1995, then Secretary of the Air Force Sheila E. Widnell and then Air Force Chief of Staff General Ronald R. Fogelman approved the following core values for the United States Air Force Integrity first Service before self Excellence in all we do, the Air Education and Training Command, along with the USAF Academy, are responsible for teaching these principles throughout the Air Force. <laughs> Flying training When AETC was established in 1993, 19th Air Force 19 AF was also established as a companion numbered Air Force to 2AF within AETC. While 2AF focused on ground-based technical training, 19AF focused on all undergraduate flying training and those formal training units FTU under its claimancy from 1993 until 2012, and again from 2014 to present. On 12 July 2012, 19AF was temporarily inactivated for budgetary reasons in an effort to gain efficiencies. By 2014, these efficiencies had failed to materialize and the then commander of AETC, Gen Robin Rand, directed re-establishment of 19AF effective 1 October 2014 for the oversight of all flight training operations under AETC's claimancy. <laughs> Pilot training. Air Force pilot candidates begin their flying careers with initial flight screening IFS at Pueblo Memorial Airport, Colorado. In IFS, civilian flight instructors working under contract to AETC and the command's 306th Flying Training Group 306 FTG provide up to 25 hours of flight instruction to commissioned officer and enlisted student pilots accessed via the U.S. Air Force Academy, Air Force ROTC and Air Force OTS. Following successful completion of IFS, student pilots attend either Specialized Undergraduate Pilot Training Euro-NATO Joint Jet Pilot Training Primary Training SUPT. SUPT students accomplish primary training in the T-6A Texan II at one of three Air Force bases Columbus AFB, Mississippi Lachlan AFB, Texas Vance AFB, Oklahoma Between 1994 and 2013, SUPT was titled JSUPT for Joint Specialized Undergraduate Pilot Training and 100 USAF students annually accomplished primary training in the T-34C Turbo Mentor and later the T-6B Texan II with training Air Wing 5 at Naval Air Station Whiting Field, Florida via a combination of USN, USAF, USMC and USCG flight instructors while 80 USN and 20 USMC students annually accomplished primary training in the T-6A Texan II with the 71st Flying Training Wing at Vance Air Force Base. 
This program was terminated on 25 July 2013 with the graduation of the final USAF student pilot from primary training at NARS Whiting Field. <laughs> primary training, ENJJPT ENJJPT students accomplish primary training in the T6A Texan II at the following location Shepard AFB, Texas The entire ENJJPT course lasts about 54 weeks and students learn with, and are taught by, officers of the U.S. Air Force and various European Air Forces. During the primary phase, students master contact, instrument, low-level and formation flying. <laughs> Advanced training, fighter, bomber ENJJPT plus SUPT After the primary phase of SUPT and ENJJPT, student pilots elect one of three advanced training tracks based on their class standing. Those qualified for fighter or bomber assignments are assigned to the fighter, bomber track and train in the T-38 Talon at the SUPT and ENJJPT bases. Following completion of the fighter bomber track, graduates will be assigned to the A10, F15 Eagle, F15E Strike Eagle, F16, F22 and F35, B1, B2 or B52. Note, the U2 is not an option for new graduates of the fighter bomber track. Prospective U-2 pilots must be qualified in another fighter, bomber, reconnaissance or mobility aircraft before applying to fly the U-2. First Assignment Instructor Pilots are also eligible to apply following their FAIP assignment. <laughs> Advanced Training, Airlift, Tanker SUPT only. Prospective airlift, tanker and big wing reconnaissance and special mission pilots are assigned to the airlift, tanker track and train in the T-1AJ Hawk at JSUPT bases only. Following completion of the airlift, tanker track, graduates of this track will fly the C-5, C-17, C-21, C-130, AC-130, EC-130, HC-130, LC-130, MC-130, WC-130, KC-135, KC-10, KC-46, E-3, E-8, R C-135 and OC-135. Prior to mid-2012, some USAF student pilots selected for the airlift, tanker track with specific assignment to the C-130 Hercules or its variants Special Operations, Electronic Warfare, Combat Rescue, Weather Reconnaissance, etc. were assigned to a multi-engine turboprop track flying the T-44 Pegasus and or TC-12B Huron at NARS Corpus Christi, Texas in a cooperative arrangement between AETC and the Naval Air Training Command, Chief of Naval Air Training These USAF students received instruction from a combination of USN, USAF, USMC and USCG flight instructors with training Air Wing 4 at NARS Corpus Christi. This program was discontinued in 2012 and all USAF student pilots slated for the C-130 and its variants now train in the T-1A at one of the three JSUPT bases. Note, the 55th Wings 55WG E-4B National Air Operations Center NAOC aircraft and any of the Special Air Mission SAM aircraft operated by the 89th Airlift Wing 89 or, e.g., VC-25, Air Force 1, C-32, C-40, etc., are not options for new graduates of the airlift, tanker track. 
prospective E-4 and VC-25, C-32, C-40 pilots must be qualified in an airlift, tanker, or other intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft before applying to fly the E-4 or any SAM aircraft. Advanced training, helicopter SUPT only. Those selected to fly helicopters or tilt rotor aircraft are assigned after completion of the primary phase to AETC's 23D Flying Training Squadron at Fort Rucker, Alabama to train in the TH-1H Huey. Graduates will fly the UH-1N Twin Huey, HH-60G Pave Hawk or CV-22 Osprey. Topic: <laughs> Combat Systems Officer Training. Topic: <laughs> 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 Undergraduate Combat Systems Officer Training (UCSOT). Previously known as navigators, the training pipeline for combat systems officers has seen significant change since AETC's establishment. When AETC was first activated to replace Air Training Command ATC, it inherited ATC's modernization effort of navigator training in the midst of a BRAC-directed closure of Mather AFB, California and the inactivation of its 323D Flying Training Wing, USAF's sole undergraduate navigator training wing, which also provided advanced training for USN student naval flight officers destined for land-based naval aircraft e.g., P-3 Orion, E-6 Mercury, etc. under the dual designation of Interservice Undergraduate Navigator Training as part of this transition, AETC opted to implement a dual training track whereby most USAF and all land-based USN and NATO, Allied Officer Student Navigator training would transition to the 12th Flying Training Wing 12 FTW at Randolph AFB, Texas utilizing the T-45 Navigation Simulator and flying the T-43 Bobcat both relocated from Mather AFB and adding the T-1J Hawk for USAF students. The relocated programs were renamed Specialized Undergraduate Navigator Training for USAF and USAF sponsored NATO, Allied students, and Joint Specialized Undergraduate Navigator Training for USN and USN sponsored NATO, Allied students. USAF students graduating from SUNT were assigned to B-52, C-130, AC-130, EC-130, HC-130, LC-130, MC-130, WC-130, KC-135, E-3, E-8, RC-135 and OC-135 aircraft. At the same time, a pre-selected cohort of USAF officer student navigators destined as weapon systems officers in the F-15E Strike Eagle, the B-1 Lancer, and, with the retirement of the F-111 Raven, electronic warfare officers providing USAF manning of joint USN-USAF EA-6B Prowler squadrons, would complete a joint flight training program established between 19 AF and the Naval Air Training Command, Chief of Naval Air Training with Training Air Wing 6 at Naval Air Station Pensacola, Florida. In this latter program, prospective USAF WSOs and EWOS would follow essentially the same training track as USN and USMC student naval flight officers destined for tactical fighter, strike and electronic attack aircraft, 
flying the T-34C Turbo Mentor in primary training until the T-34C's replacement by the T-6 Texan II, USAF T-1J Hawk aircraft on detached operations at NAS Pensacola, and USN, USMC T-39 Sabreliner aircraft in intermediate and advanced training under the tutelage of USN, USAF and USMC instructors. In 2009, with the transition of all USAF navigators to combat systems officers, the merger of SUNT into Undergraduate Combat Systems Officer Training UCSOT, and pursuant to additional BRAC directives, the 12 FTW established the 479th Flying Training Group 479 FTG with two flying training squadrons and an operations support squadron as a geo Geographically Separated Unit GSU at Naval Air Station Pensacola, Florida. Pursuant to USAF policy changes, AETC and CNATRA also discontinued joint training at Training Air Wing 6 with the establishment of the 479 FTG. Although NAS Pensacola remains the principal base for Student Naval Flight Officer SNFO training for the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps, the 479 FTG operates independently of this program with its own USAF T-6 Texan II and T-1J Hawk aircraft. Upon establishment of the 479 FTG at NAS Pensacola, the remaining legacy. Navigator training squadrons that had relocated from the former Mather AFB to Randolph AFB in 1992 were inactivated and the remaining T-43 Bobcat aircraft retired. Starting in the summer of 2010, following completion of initial flight screening IFS at Pueblo Memorial Airport, Colorado with their USAF student pilot counterparts, all USAF CSO students undergo undergraduate combat systems officer training UCSOT with the 479 FTG. Merging the three previous USAF Undergraduate Navigator Training UNT, tracks formerly known as Navigator Track, Weapon Systems Officer WSO, Track and Electronic Warfare Officer EWO, Track into one coherent training cycle, the first UCSOT Class 1101 under the new syllabus commenced training on 5 May 2010 and graduated on 15 April 2011. Today, USAF CSOs continue to fill all of the previously mentioned multi-place USAF combat aircraft with the exception that the USN has since retired all of its EA-6B prowlers and the USAF now provides a few CSOs to four of the USN's 13 electronic attack squadrons flying the EA-18G Growler. Those four squadrons are land-based and do not deploy aboard aircraft carriers. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Air Battle Manager Training. Air Battle Managers (ABM) are non-pilot, non-CSO officer aircrew who operate mission systems in the E3 Sentry (AWACS) and E-8J stars. Since October 1999, they have been considered aeronautically rated officers, on par with USAF pilots and navigators come CSOs. ABM's Complete Undergraduate Air Battle Manager Training UABMT, an academic and simulator-only program under AETC Cognizance at Tyndall AFB, Florida. As of May 2010, a new training syllabus at Tyndall AFB allows ABMs to receive their wings at the conclusion of UABMT, finally bringing their undergraduate flight training in line with pilots and CSOs. Follow-on simulator and flying training in the actual E-3 or E-8 aircraft takes place under the cognizance of Air Combat Command at Tinker AFB, Oklahoma and Robbins AFB, Georgia, respectively. Air 
Topic: <laughs> Enlisted Air Crew Training. AETC also provides enlisted aircrew training for a wide variety of aircrew specialties including flight engineers, air-to-air -air refueling boom operators, loadmasters, aerial gunners, and airborne communication specialists as follows Flight engineers, loadmasters, other aircrew C-130, EC-130, LC-130, WC-130 Little Rock AFB Flight engineers, loadmasters, other aircrew AC-130, MC-130, HC-130 Little Rock AFB and Kirtland AFB Flight engineers, aerial gunners, other aircrew CV-22, HH-60, A-1, Kirtland AFB Aerial refueling boom operators KC-135, KC-10, Altus AFB Loadmasters C-5, Lackland AFB, Kelly Field Annex Loadmasters C-17, Altus AFB Airborne communications specialists, various aircraft, Lackland AFB. Topic: <laughs> Formal training unit. Air Education and Training Command also provides follow-on training for most Air Force pilots, CSOs and enlisted aircrew in their assigned aircraft via formal training units (FTUs). For those pilots and CSOs selected for assignment to fighter aircraft, they will complete the Introduction to Fighter Fundamentals IFF course, an AETC-administered program, at Randolph AFB, Texas, Columbus AFB, Mississippi, or Shepard AFB, Texas, shortly following completion of undergraduate flying training and prior to reporting to their FTU. At IFF, pilots fly the AT-38B Talon. Air Education and Training Command FTUs F-15 Eagle e.g. F-15C and F-15D Kingsley Field Air National Guard Base, Oregon, conducted by an AETC-gained fighter wing of the Oregon Air National Guard Training at Kingsley Field is conducted by an AETC-gained fighter wing of the Air National Guard. This unit trains both active duty Air Force and Air National Guard personnel. F-16 Fighting Falcon, Luke AFB, Arizona, slated for relocation to Holloman AFB, New Mexico, Lackland AFB, Kelly Field Annex, Texas, and Tucson Air National Guard Base, Arizona. Training at Luke is conducted by an AETC fighter wing and an AETC gained fighter wing of the Air Force Reserve Command. Training at Lackland AFB, Kelly Field former Kelly AFB is conducted by an AETC gained fighter wing of the Texas Air National Guard. Both units at Luke AFB and Lackland AFB, Kelly Field train Air Force, Air Force Reserve and Air National Guard personnel for the F-16C and F-16D. Training at Tucson ANGB is conducted by an AETC-gained fighter wing of the Arizona Air National Guard focusing on international NATO, Allied, coalition pilot training in support of the F-16 Foreign Military Sales FMS program F-35 Lightning II, Eglin AFB, Florida slated for additional site at Luke AFB, Arizona following relocation of F-16 training C5 Galaxy, Lackland AFB, Kelly Field Annex, former Kelly AFB. Training conducted by an AETC gained airlift wing of the Air Force Reserve Command. This unit trains Air Force and Air Force Reserve personnel for the C5 and previously trained Air National Guard personnel for the C5 until retirement of the C5 from the ANC. C-17 Globemaster III, Altus AFB, Oklahoma C-21 Learjet, Keesler AFB, Mississippi 
C-130 Hercules, Little Rock AFB, Arkansas KC-135 Stratotanker, Altus AFB, Oklahoma KC-46 Pegasus, Altus AFB, Oklahoma establishment pending MC-130 Combat Shadow, Combat Talon II, Commando II and HC-130 Combat King, Combat King II, Kirtland AFB, New Mexico UH-1N Twin Huey, Kirtland AFB, New Mexico HH-60G Pave Hawk, Kirtland AFB, New Mexico CV-22 Osprey, Kirtland AFB, Mexico T-6 Texan II, T-38 Talon and T-1J Hawk Pilot Instructor Training Pit, Randolph AFB, Texas This not under AETC Claimant CR Air Combat Command A-10 Thunderbolt II E-3 Sentry E-4 NAOC E eight J stars, E C one hundred and thirty Hercules compass call, F one five E strike eagle, F twenty two Raptor, O C one hundred and thirty five open skies, R C one hundred and thirty five rivet joint, U two Dragon Lady, M Q one Predator, M Q nine Reaper. RQ-170 Sentinel Air Force Global Strike Command B-1 Lancer B-2 Spirit B-52 Stratofortress Air Force Special Operations Command AC-130 Spectre, Spooky and Stinger EC-130 Commando Solo U-28 Air Mobility Command KC-10 Extender C-20 Gulfstream 4 C-21 Learjet VC-25 C-40 Clipper C-32 C-37 Gulfstream 5 Topic: Air University. Air University O, headquartered at Maxwell AFB, Alabama, conducts professional military education (PME), graduate education, and professional continuing education for officers, senior enlisted members, and DOD and DAFC civilians throughout their careers. Topic USAF Commissioned Officer Accession and Training Air University also has responsibility for all Air Force Officer Accession and Training other than those officers accessed and commissioned the United States Air Force Academy USAFA. This is conducted via AU's subordinate activity, the Gene M. Home Center for Officer Accessions and Citizen Development Home Center, formerly the Air Force Officer Accession and Training Schools AFOATS. As an O activity, the Home Center oversees both the Air Force Reserve Officer Training Corps AFROTC, with detachments at numerous colleges and universities across the United States, and the Air Force Officer Training School OTS at Maxwell AFB, Alabama. Professional Military Education PME schools Air University's Professional Military Education schools prepare students from the Air Force, its sister services and both NATO and other U.S. allied nations as they progress through their careers. Emphasis in these programs includes leadership, military doctrine and aerospace power. The three primary PME schools are 
Squadron Officer School SOS, an approximately two-month leadership development program primarily for USAF company grade officers first lieutenants O2 and captains O3. Attendance is also open to U.S. civil service primarily DAFC in grades GS-11 and GS-12. Air Command and Staff College ACSC, an approximately year-long joint intermediate service college program for officers of all services in the rank of or selected for major 04 lieutenant commander 04 in the navy and coast guard other allied military equivalents or us civil service gs13 primarily dafc dod dhs and nasa air war college awc an approximately year long joint senior Service college program for officers in the rank of or selected for Lieutenant Colonel 05, Commander 05 in the Navy and Coast Guard, other Allied military equivalents, or U.S. Civil Service GS-14. Officers in the grade of Colonel 06, Captain 06 in the Navy and Coast Guard, and U.S. Civil Service GS-15 primarily DAFC, DOD, DHS and NASA may also attend AWC in residence, although this is usually due to previous completion of AWC via correspondence or seminar, career timing, or early promotion. Air Force Junior ROTC Air University also oversees one of Air Force's two civilian participatory programs, Air Force Junior ROTC. Civil Air Patrol was moved under Air Combat Command in 2016. The Air Force Junior ROTC program is a cadet program for high school students at more than 870 high schools in the United States and at Department of Defense Dependent Schools locations overseas. AFJ ROTC instructors are retired USAF officers in the ranks of Major, Lieutenant Colonel and Colonel, assisted by retired USAF noncommissioned officers in the ranks of Technical Sergeant through Chief Master Sergeant. As opposed to its college, university counterpart, Air Force ROTC, AFROTC, the AFJ ROTC program is not a military pre-commissioning program for prospective USAF officers, but is instead a citizenship program for youth similar to, but with an overall narrower age range than, the Civil Air Patrol Cadet Program, AFJ ROTC a subordinate to the Gene M. Home Center for Officer Accession and Citizen Development Home Center. Other academic support services at Air University include the Academic Instructor School, the Air Force Public Affairs Center of Excellence, the Muir S. Fairchild Research Information Center formerly known as Air University Library and the International Officer School. Bases AETC has claimancy and oversight of the following installations Altus AFB, OK Columbus AFB, MS Goodfellow AFB, TX Keesler AFB, MS Lackland AFB, TX includes Kelly Field Annex Lachlan AFB, TX Luke AFB, AZ Maxwell AFB, AL includes Gunter AFS Shepard AFB, TX Vance AFB, OKAETC OK is also a major tenant at Eglin AFB, FL, Kirtland AFB, Nanometer, Little Rock AFB, R, Nars Pensacola, FL, and Vandenberg AFB, CA. <laughs> Medical services 
The Air Force's two largest medical facilities belong to AETC, the Wilford Hall Medical Center at Lackland AFB, Texas, and the Keesler Medical Center at Keesler AFB, Mississippi. History For a history prior to 1993, see Air Training Command On 1 January 1993, Air Training Command absorbed Air University and changed the command designation to Air Education and Training Command AETC assumed responsibilities for both aspects of career development, training and education. Missions such as combat crew training, pararescue, and combat controller training, and later space training transferred to the new command, so that airmen would report to their operational units mission ready. Restructuring the command assumed priority among the issues facing the command staff. The introduction of three new training aircraft, the Raytheon T-1 Jayhawk, Slingsby T-3 Firefly, and Beach T-6 Texan II the addition of joint training, and the BRAC-mandated closures of Chanute AFB, Illinois a major technical training center, Mather AFB, California previously USAF's sole undergraduate navigator training base and Williams AFB, Arizona an undergraduate pilot training base were major challenges following the establishment of AETC. In 1994, AETC adopted the objective wing concept and stood up several wings responsible for crew training in the F-16, Special Operations Aircraft, Airlift Aircraft, the KC-135 Aerial Refueling Aircraft, and Space and Missile Operations. AETC also began the first specialized undergraduate pilot training SUPT and joint SUPT courses. Lowry AFB, Colorado, a technical training center with closed runways that, like the previously closed Chanute AFB, no longer conducted flight operations but conducted both non-flying officer and enlisted technical training, was added to the list of AETC bases closed by the Base Realignment and Closure Commission in the mid-1990s. This was followed by the BRAC mandated closure of Reese AFB, Texas, an undergraduate pilot training base, in 1995. The transition to SUPT was completed in 1996, the delivery of the first JPATS aircraft in 1999, and the discontinuation of the controversial T 3 as an initial flight screening aircraft in 2000 following a higher than average fatal mishap record. In response to the terrorist attacks on the 11th of September 2001, AETC went on a war footing, activating a crisis action team and supplying both fighters and tankers from its wings for combat air patrols in American airspace as part of Operation Noble Eagle. An operational test and evaluation of JPATS began in 2002 at Moody AFB and upgrades to its Training Integration Management System TIMS were begun the next year, resulting in retirement of the T-37 tweet and full implementation of JPATS with the T-6 Texan II in 2007. Lineage Established as Air Corps Flying Training Command on 23 January 1942 Redesignated as Army Air Forces Flying Training Command on or about 15 March 1942 Redesignated as Army Air Forces Training Command on 31 July 1943 Redesignated as Air Training Command ATC on the 1st of July 1946. Redesignated as Air Education and Training Command AETC on the 1st of July 1993. Topic: Bibliography. 
Manning, Thomas A. 2005. History of Air Education and Training Command, 1942–2002. Randolph Air Force Base, Tex. Office of History and Research, Headquarters, Air Education and Training Command. Topic. See also. AETC studies and analysis. Comparable organizations. United States Army Training and Doctrine Command. United States Army Recruiting Command. United States Marine Corps Training and Education Command. Marine Corps Recruiting Command, U.S. Marine Corps. Naval Education and Training Command US Navy United States Navy Recruiting Command